good afternoon. Welcome to the Commission on Disability Meeting. Today is Monday, May 13th, 2024. My name is Paul Winchester, Chairman. We'll go around the room and introduce ourselves starting from my left. Richard Howe, Chief of Police. Catherine Foster, Assistant Town Manager. Karen Wolf. Leanne Winchester, Co-Chair. Okay. All right, the uh, first thing on the agenda is to approve the minutes um, from February and March. So February meeting, uh, February 12, 2024, meeting minutes. Do I have someone willing to make a motion to approve the February minutes? I'll make a motion to approve. Second? I second. All in favor? We have March 11th, 2024, meeting minutes. Is someone able to make a motion to approve the March minutes? Make a motion to approve. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we had the commission membership. We're going to forego that for now, correct? Mm -hmm. And then the MOD grant. At the past meeting, we discussed the proposal to the MOD grant. Is there an update on the status of the grant? Yes, there was a webinar, um, an information session. I don't know who was able to attend it. Um, I, and if anyone has any recommend, recommendations after attending or what projects you wanna pursue, I'm still recommending the bicentennial and with the C field accessibility upgrades is gonna still be my recommendation mm -hmm. if uh, folks agree um, or if there's any other projects you wanna to discuss today. Uh, I certainly agree. I think we should stay the course and yeah, I agree too. Um, and so can I just ask with the Bicentennial and Wicasee Fields, will that allow to have pavement around so if somebody uh, uses a wheelchair, they'll be able to get access to all the fields? Yes, I don't know about all the fields, but I think the primary fields, if yeah. I'm correct. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I agree with that. That's so. desperately yeah. needed. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we agree. Yeah. That sounds good. So when is that going in? Um, the grant, uh, the grant round opened up first uh, May 1st, I believe, and then it ends, um, I think, the first or couple weeks of June. So oh, okay, next cool. steps will be, thankfully we've already, this is a project that we submitted for in the past, we just didn't get the grant, so I have everything I need. I just need to update the cost estimates with the town engineer, because uh, he pro provided like some detailed specs. So I'm just gonna run a couple things by him. Um, and I think it included one other field, but we won't be able to, for the because of the cost, mm -hmm. probably include that. So it would just be Bicentennial with a C, as far as I know. Um, other than that, I'm gonna when is, submit. When is the expected turnaround? Like when would you expect to know by? Definitely before the grant is due, but I, I, we haven't sat down and met yet because we weren't sure if we were pursuing it yet. Yeah, so no, probably I was in the say next couple weeks. The awards, do they announce on oh. the grant when they'll be making the awards? Um, they do, I apologize, I don't remember the top oh, of my okay. head, but I want to say it's probably September. Okay. Um, okay. September, yeah. If not sooner, but I believe that's also when the next grant okay. cycle opens for the same. Okay. But I can confirm. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, we're going to skip five. Members reports, correct? Yeah. Ray Ann Stone here, yep. Yep. And then we have open forum. <coughs> Does anybody have anything to discuss? I don't have anything. So, uh, so me, the last meeting, uh, we told you we would take a look at Norris Road and we would take a look at the uh, building on uh, Westford Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so, the Norris Road, it was a complaint, uh, I think, from one of the members about it looked difficult from the Vote. You know, it is a little it's difficult. It's They're in construction there, and it mm -hmm. is what it is. Um, you know, they wanted to consider maybe moving it to the high school, but well, I think by, I don't know when they're going to use that again, November? And after that, I think things I, will be back to normal. Sorry. Yeah, I, I would say that um, because it was a long stretch to get access to the building in order to be able to vote, there was only, if I recall, one handicapped parking. I don't know if there's a way that you can make, you know, like, t is there a, a bylaw or something that would allow you to do, you know, um, an extended number of handicapped, yeah, yeah. a couple of spots near the entrance. Yeah. Otherwise, if the parking lot is full and somebody is there to vote and they have um, limited yeah, physical ability, then they're, they're going to have a hard time getting to the building and then down that long dark. Yeah. Walkway. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know if there's a way that we can do I that. I also too. remembered something about the lighting. Yeah, that was the concern. I don't know if that will still be the case because the polls close at 8. Mm -hmm. I think there's an, isn't the election coming up next Tuesday? Yeah, next Tuesday so you'll have light. I think you'll mm -hmm. have light, so it won't be an issue in November, though. Yeah, yeah not. I think that's what it was because November, with this one, we have early voting, Yeah. Mm -hmm. which is today. So, but in November, there is no early voting. Yeah, that's something I think we can address mm -hmm. over the next uh, several months over yeah. the school. Yeah, we'll give like a spots, I can reach yeah. out to them as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can check out and see if there's any other. Yeah, I'm not familiar with where they're doing having the eighty or the accessible accessible parking spots, but we they'd be easy to put temporary. Yep. But I also yeah. don't know the status of the building at that point. It might be demolished over the summer. I don't. I don't. I yeah. can't. I don't know the phasing of the project, so it might not even be a spot for. I, we would have to confirm. I just don't know. Yep. What that will be like. Yeah, I think we have time though. So okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. For the November, yeah. Right. Um, but yes, the issue is lighting, so that it won't shouldn't be for this. But we can check out for the spaces. There is a. I, I actually um, will uh, provide an update uh, for the parking lot. We were talking about before the meeting. Uh, for anybody watching, um, parking lot at the police station obviously was very limited uh, access uh, uh, for everyone, including the officers that uh, were parking. Mm -hmm. Across the street, um, you know the parking lot has um, obviously been torn up, and um, but good news is it's progressing, and we're hoping uh, they're hoping to put the uh, coat, uh, first coat of asphalt down, a binder coat tomorrow, uh, the entire parking lot, which will essentially open the parking lot back up. Then over the next six to eight weeks, there'll be uh, various things going on in the parking lot, different areas um, that they'll be doing upgrades, retaining walls. Um, moving the monument, moving the flag out front, moving our sign. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of activity. Um, when that's completed, then the final coat will go down. Uh, we expect right now, uh, according to our engineer, uh, Jake, um, probably looking at uh, probably August, July or August, um, final coat going down. So we are progressing well. And at that point, we will have, um, as part of this project, uh, two uh, handicapped parking spots directly in front of the building. Um, something that that building has never had before, mm -hmm. so that is a significant yeah. improvement. So, yes. Yeah. And then there was just one other item uh, we had mentioned on the council page, and, the, yeah, the, the and, and we went by and looked, and it's just a slight grade change. It's really nothing they can do about it. It's, yeah. I think it's fine. If somebody might I just navigate it. It's not steep by any means. I agree. I also went over there and looked at the yeah. grade, and I brought spray paint with me to kind of see if I needed to do anything, and it, well, it's not really yeah, worth it. about painting it, but you might set yourself up a liability and stuff. You yeah. know, the place, I think, is pretty much built to code. You know, everything, mm -hmm. I think, was done right, parking lines and stuff, so. I think it had to do with just the seasonal, like, changes of weather. It made it, I think, at one point, it was a little bit worse than it, than yeah. it is, but right now, it's really no. Yeah. I, I don't think it's something do. that we can. And what did you say? They get most of the money from the feds? No, it's state funded. The council's state only funded. agent is mm -hmm. state funded. For yeah. the most part, they do. Well, they the need yeah. It's supplemented, but it does, the town's operated by the Justice Parks and Rangers. Just and all the signs are back up, or, you know, like the cane detecting barriers. Mm -hmm. that, that was all, as far as we know, based off of what we could find and the resources available, everything was up to code. So, that, and then additional signs were added and a few more exit signs I ha I'll have to add. The handicap accessible door has been fixed. Um, we did, one of the members uh, brought up some potential, I guess, upgrades in terms of like putting a railing on the side. Yeah, I remember that. It's just too small of a space um, and not something at this time we're probably going to proceed with. Just hasn't been a need for that, and it's just such a narrow walkway, it'll cause other hazards mm -hmm. um, in one way or another. So, um, but more signs have been put up at this point, just a few more exit signs need to be added, mm -hmm. and then all those upgrades we talked about will be complete, except for the, the walkway in the front. That's something that I'm going to touch base with um, our town engineer and see when we can expect that to be um, the design and installation. 
Yeah. So aside from that, the only thing is just having the ball fields, up, you know, and, and then I mean, a lot, the majority of our projects then would have been complete. We, what at one meeting we had talked about sort of bringing that uh, assessment that we had done, the town assessment that was done about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sort of revisiting that might be something for a future meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to revisit and see if there was anything left on there that we wanted to pursue. The Littlefield Library was, a, I don't know if that actually was on the plan, but that's another project that we, we received capital funding for. Oh, so okay. we'll be working on figuring out what exactly, with the, the, the budget that we have, what we can accomplish mm -hmm. over there. Okay. Okay. We did not get the AARP yeah. grant, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Letter. Yes. Uh, it's a bummer. It's mm -hmm. yeah. an exciting project, but that's right. okay. So, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get this next grant. Yep. Okay. And what is the MOD, what's the acronym for? Uh, Mass Office uh, Disability. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, anything else? I guess more just a heads up. Um, I will be expecting in the month of June. I should be at the next meeting, but know that July, August, and September might be questionable, so someone from our office will reach out and help coordinate everything, but um, if you need anything in yeah. the meantime. Wish you well. Yeah. Wish yeah. you well, yeah. Good, good, luck. Good, luck. Yeah. good luck. Thank you. All right, then I'm gonna make a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.